Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the one and only Mark Spencer. Folks, the NBA draft is today. Draft day 08. Mark Spencer is back. The NBA Finals was unbelievable. You know, the Boston Celtics, it's been 22 long years, and you guys are finally on the top of the mountain. You guys have finally brought back the championship to Boston. Thanks to Kevin Garnett, Ray John Rondo, Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, Kendrick Perkins, and the rest of the team. They truly proved that they are in a team. They were the best in the best, and they are the best in the end. The Lakers played good. They show what teamwork's all about. Kobe really brought in, too, a team game. And he was the MVP of the league, but he couldn't be the MVP of the finals. So, folks, you know... So let the talking begin. So, folks, the Toronto Raptors just recently pulled off a trade last night in acquiring Jermaine O'Neal. You know, Jermaine O'Neal is one of the best, I think, centers in terms of power forwards in the NBA history. He's one of the best. He's been with the Pacers for a long, long time, since he left the Portland Trailblazers, since he got traded from the Portland Trailblazers to the Indiana, Indiana Pacers. And I think it was 1999. So, you know, he's been there for a very long time. And it's good to see that uh, Jermaine O'Neal, he's on a team now that, you know, they look aggressive. And he, the other players in this trade was uh, TJ Ford and Rosho Nesterovic. You know, with TJ Ford, you know, he's had the, 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 the neck and the back problems. But, uh, you know, he just didn't fit in with the Raptors. I mean, with Jose Calderon playing as good as he's been playing the last few years, especially when uh, um, Ford got down, he got injured from, like, some serious injuries. So, you know, hey, you know, that's what happens, you know. Injuries do happen in the game of basketball. But, you know, Ford has been kind of in some bad luck with some of those injuries. When he first got injured in Milwaukee, when he was with the Milwaukee Bucks, you know, everybody in the league, you know, all the experts all said, you know, that's a serious, serious blow to his career. And uh, I kind of feel that with the Raptors, they kind of felt they had to get rid of T.J. Ford. You know, he was kind of a risk, and uh, they had to do something here. So, and don't forget, the Raptors gave up their sec the their first round pick in the in the draft in the seventeenth overall pick to the Indiana Pacers. So they'll probably pick for the Pacers what player they want. And I'm hearing that the the seventeenth overall overall pick might be Robin Lopez, one of the Lopez twins. And I'm also hearing that the Miami Heat are really interested in OJ Mayo. Mayo, I think, will go number two, right behind um, uh, Rose. Uh, of Memphis, uh, I, I think this is a good move for the the Miami Heat. They really do need a two guard uh, or, or a point guard to play with uh, Dwayne Wade out in Miami. I mean, they were atrocious last year. If you've seen their record, they were just brutal. I know Michael Beasley's a great talent and everything, but he he, he lacks the competitive de desire. You know, the competitive fire. I think the perfect team for Michael Beasley will have to be the Minnesota Timberwolves. I think the Minnesota Timberwolves could really, really use a Michael Beasley. You know, he kind of reminds you of another guy that used to play there, Kevin Garnett. The guy w has all the tools to be a great player for many years to come, play with Al Jefferson and all the rest of those young players there. You know, if Minnesota can make another trade and get a point guard, I mean, later in the draft, that would be unbelievable because I think that's what that team needs. And uh, who knows? Who knows with that trade with the Miami Heat, they might be able to acquire uh, you know, maybe a point guard. You don't know. Anything's possible. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, so we'll see. And we go, as we go down in the draft, you got Kevin Love. Uh, I think he's going to probably go to the Memphis Grizzlies. But there's a good chance he could go to the, Sh the Charlotte Bobcats. I know Michael Jordan, he went and acquired the 20th pick overall from the Denver Nuggets for basically uh, cash and consideration. Well, basically nothing. Uh, this is well, basically next year's draft. They give up a pick for next year's draft. So Michael Jordan, once again, pulling off his magic. You know, this guy is the man, you know, the greatest player of ever. You know, he is the greatest player ever, Michael Jordan. There's no doubt in my mind and no doubt in anybody's mind around the world that watches basketball really. 
religiously. And, uh, you know, he's working his magic again. I, I feel, you know, if he can get a Kevin Love, I mean, Kevin Love, I think he's probably is the best player in this draft. Here's a guy, a big guy, he can pass, he can score. He has no weaknesses. He can shoot both left and right. He, he is a good perimeter shooter. He can shoot from 18 to 20 feet out. Uh, he can play. He's great defensively. I know he's still learning the game, but, you know, he just has to, you know, grasp it the game try to slow it down a little bit and i think you'll be fine you know kevin love is one of one of the young stars up and coming stars in the nba so remember folks uh kevin love man this guy is going to be a star no doubt about it. And there's some other players in this draft like deandre jordan i think he's not going to be that good of a player so i think he'll get picked like 25th or something and everybody in the draft will be shocked but i won't be shocked if he gets picked 25th because this kid has he's like a project He's going to take some years for this guy to develop. Same thing with Michael Beasley. I think it's going to take him some years too. I mean, the NBA is a physical, physical game, and I think they're going to really play tough on him this year, coming year in the NBA, if he plays in the NBA this year and or the, M, or the NBDL, whatever. I, I, it, that could happen. If, if he were to end up on the Miami Heat, uh, the Miami Heat wouldn't be that good. Uh, they really need a, a point guard, and I think O.J. Mayo would be a good fit, fit for them. And, and there's another guy by the name of Jay Bayless. I think Bayless is going to be a good player. I think he's going to the New York Knicks, uh, a big market player, big market athlete. And you know what? I, I, that's what I feel that might happen. And you might see some more trades. I'm hearing the likes of Corey Maggette might be moved, Barry Davis, and a big package from Golden State. Who knows? There's some names out there that are – are kicking around you know some tires are getting kicked uh i mean don't watch out for the san antonio spurs i wouldn't be surprised if they trade to get one of these picks uh watch for the detroit pistons i'm hearing that they want to get rid of billups and they want to get a tayshaun prince and probably if they can get a chance to try to trade off rasheed walls don't watch watch out for denver they might just trade carmel anthony if the deal is sweet enough i wouldn't be surprised if the nuggets trade carmel anthony at this draft so that's all I got to say, folks, uh, for NBA Review, the, the Draft Day Edition 08. Folks, the NBA Finals was great. Uh, I'm sorry I've been around for a while. But, you know, th these players, these future stars of the NBA, this is their day to shine. There's no doubt in my mind. This is going to be an awesome draft. This will be an unpredictable draft. It's going to be a fun, entertaining thing for all the NBA fans all around the world. And don't forget, folks, the Olympic Games in Beijing. Well, can Canada do good in this tournament? Make it to Beijing. I hope they do. Because the USA, they look pretty good. Well, folks, my name is Mark Spencer for the NBA Review Draft Day 08 Edition. So long, everyone. We'll see you next time. Peace. See you next time. <laughs>